this winter's night with you Good morning. Um, I am sitting here wrapping presents. <laughs> I did okay. Oh, handful. Um, I'll wait, I'll flip the camera around and show you the rest. What I still have to do, plus one behind me over there. Um, yeah, I am so tired this morning. I, I'm not really feeling well. And, um, oh, let me show you my advent while I, while I have here. Um, yeah, so I'm not really feeling well. I took a COVID test this morning and it's negative, so that's good. Uh, so I just think I have a head cold, but I really, uh, I really wanted to run this morning and get some exercise in. I'm, I'm struggling with running lately. I mean, if you've been watching me a while, you know that I'm a runner and I broke, so I didn't, I don't know if I told you all this, but I broke my toe, uh, at the end of summer. So I had to take eight weeks off and now trying to get back to it. I'm struggling with, um, some muscular issues on my right side, which is the opposite side of the side. I broke my left toe. Um, the toe is fine, but my hip is killing me. Like mu it's all muscular. It just is really giving me a hard time. So I don't, I don't know. I'm, I may need to bail on doing any running for the winter, <laughs> maybe try again in the spring and just work on rehab, um, right now. So I'm wearing my Christmas sweater from, I think I knit this in 2019. It's called tree oak. Um, it is not a Christmas pattern. Uh, it was knit in gold, the original pattern. Um, and I just use like a multicolor. You could see it there. Uh, <laughs> multicolor indie dyed yarn from Lavender Loon, um, from a few years ago. So yeah, this is my morning. Oh, my, my son Ryan is coming today as well as my, uh, sister, and her adult children. So that's why I'm like hustling to get everything wrapped before they all arrive. So yeah, that is the plan. You can see the back of my living room there. I have that spare bed there and all my knitting supplies right there. That's where I usually record. I meant to say too, I, I stopped caking all my mini skeins. So I just started putting them back in. Uh, I stopped caking around the 11th or so there's a few there's a few by my um in in my studio room with a few you know that need to be caked but i'm not ready to knit with them yet i'm still gift knitting ah <laughs> i've had such a weird day today i it's so funny i i don't know i had a sense of dread all day and i just found out that one of my sons tested positive for covid and and he feels okay. He doesn't feel, it feels like he has a head cold. So he doesn't have um, extreme symptoms. Um, but sadly, he won't be able to be here for Christmas. And yeah, I am um, so disappointed and sad because he's the only one who I can always rely on to be here. Um, I know it won't always be that way, but right now he's single, so <laughs> it's all good. But yeah, um, I mean, we'll see, see if he's, maybe he's, he'll be good by the weekend. We'll see. But yeah, and then I went out to do some grocery shopping and the roads were just freaking bananas and people are acting crazy and I instantly regretted it. It wasn't urgent that I went today, but oh my goodness. So I am going to now go do a workout. Um, I I usually, I have to do abs and I really hate my ab workout. I mean, I just hate that work. It's, it's a job. It's a job to do that workout. Not that workout in particular, but just working out that part of my body. Um, and then I also do some leg work to, to go along with that. And yeah, it's a workout I don't really look forward to. So I'm going to do that. I looked at the Magpie Celestial calendar to see what it said about today because I did open a, um, a skinny yarn today, but it was beautiful. 
and it said you should practice self-care and look inward on this the shortest day of the year um, it is currently four or so o'clock it's pretty dark out already and the sun set the sun already set you can kind of see it on the horizon over there just oh, oh, on the top of the starfish so I, I will light candles later and hopefully i will remember to film that for you I wanted to give you a little knitting update. It is December 22nd. Uh, I don't think I shared this before, but I finished the Parkview hat using hand spun and uh, a strand of mohair, a strand of um, hand spun, which striped so beautifully. I like it so, so much. So I'm giving that oh, at Christmas. And then I, this was my absolute, last gift knit this is a still damp cashmere treats dk weight one by one rib hat pattern um just a freestyle i didn't follow any patterns i've learned from watching these are the other cashmere hats that i've already made um so i have made a total of eight hats this season um these six and then one other, the purple cashmere one that left, and then the yellow hat for myself. Um, I was going to make another pair of socks for as a gift, but I decided that um, I have this pair that uh, I, I swapped for, I swapped some hand spun for sock knitting a while back, and I never have worn them. I've um, blocked them, but I haven't worn them. They're so pretty little sparkle in the heel um but yeah I'm gonna gift these these will go together as a gift and uh, hopefully the socks will fit if they don't I will figure out something else to do so I'm so glad to be done with gift knitting now <laughs> so I've been able to make a little progress on my advent knitting so this is the shawl from Olan. It, you start here and then work your way out. Uh, I've managed to make it up to day eight. Just give you a close up of that. 
So it's day 22 and I'm on day eight. <laughs> but I think last time I was here on day five, so I've knit through day six and seven. Um, I really love where this is going. Uh, on the clues, um, Jess has started to call it a blanket. So I think it will end up being blanket size. I do know that there's a full skein for day 25. So I'm curious to see where that's gonna go. I can tell you that right now, there are about 500 stitches on the needles. So each row is pretty slow going. Um, and I saw that there's a, a, at least one day of rest ahead of me. So uh, yeah, so I don't know, we'll see how this goes. I'll, I'll keep you updated. The lamp, the lamp is burning low upon my tabletop. The snow, the snow is softly falling. The air is still in the silence of my room. I hear, I hear your voice softly calling. If I, if I could only. day before the day before Christmas <laughs> the 23rd I've just been enjoying a very quiet morning knitting and catching up on vlog misses and yeah just relaxing our coffee machine broke our big fancy coffee machine broke which kind of sucks bad timing because we have guests now that are also coffee drinkers um so yeah we broke out the french press this morning hopefully it'll be fixed in the next few days or you know we may need a repairman it's unknown at this point <laughs> i have quite a few things to do today um i might be a little too ambitious but i have i'm gonna work out i'm gonna do that next i'm gonna uh i strength train four times a week uh, and I usually do some sort of cardio two or three times a week, but I talked about that already. So it's been hard. Um, yeah, so we'll see how that goes post-Christmas. I'm not going to try to do any of that before Christmas at all. Um, yeah, and I want to, I was thinking about making cookies and uh, I should go get, I should go shopping for wine at some point. And I need to, my last, very last Christmas gift um, for my nephew arrived this morning. So I can finish wrapping um, and sort through the stocking stuffers and wrap up um, 
some individualized things that I have going on there would really like to do that because I would like to clean out um, any of the extra boxes and things that I've been collecting just in case I needed them. So that would be nice to, to just get taken care of. And uh, what else? I think that's all. Oh, I've got to grade papers. So I've been quite enjoying the fact that I haven't had to do any work the past few days and I've been procrastinating grading the last papers from the fall semester. I really need to get it done. They're, the grades actually aren't due until January 3rd, um, but the students are kind of bugging me a little bit about how they're doing, and some, some a couple of them handed in late papers, and they just want me to review them. So I don't know. I may make some time to do some of those today. We'll see. I look so tired and... Mm. I put on, I haven't talked about self-care in a quite a long time, but I put on this, this serum. It's like a repair serum from Korea. It's supposed to like help freshen up your face. So I put that on just a few minutes ago, just to kind of do away with the dryness that happens this time of year and on my old skin. <laughs> Oh, I'm going to catch you up on the the uh, the shawl that I've been knitting for with the Ulan. Um, yeah, let me show you. Okay, so I made it up to day nine. And uh, I just made it to day nine right now, a couple minutes ago. Um, so I've read ahead too. I've been looking at the clues as they come out. And um, I think what happens, we do this sort of V-shape two more times and then um, you just like keep knitting till you run out of the mini and then you add the next mini and then I think you do another um, section that's this pattern this like two two by two rib alternating colors I believe we do that and then there's a big wide applied border that goes on and you knit each section with the next mini so if you've noticed if you if you notice the last few days, I've been opening sort of a purpley, deep burgundy tone minis from, from Olan. Um, so yeah, I'm excited to get to that part because that part looks really, really cool. And then there is a full skein coming. So I think we do something, you know, one last um, border with the full skein. That would be my guess anyway. Um, but yeah, I, it's, it's been, it's been pretty interesting. I really, really want to, <laughs> I really want to finish it. And I know I'm not going to finish it probably until after the new year, but yeah, I'm just, um, the, it's just so beautiful. I love this idea of knitting a little bit of, um, you know, with different mini skeins and, and, and stuff like that as you go. And like this beautiful gradient that was created by the designer, or by the, by Olan and by the um, shawl designer or blanket, whatever it is. <laughs> she is calling it a blanket now, um, but I believe it stays in a round shape. I've sorted out the stockings and figured out what I need to wrap. So all those little boxes need to be wrapped. So I'm making progress. I don't know if I'll get to it today. I might, may try to wrap things up after dinner tonight.
he sheds when we are glad and he cares when we are sad and he shares when we are glad today I'm just wearing my very introverted sweatshirt because <laughs> that's how I feel uh, not sure I'm going to get this posted for you all today um, I the last vlogmas that I posted vlogmas 4 had more than 50 clips <laughs> so that's a lot of editing um, of course like a lot of the clips are very short because it's um, me doing the daily opening unboxing of what I um, my advents and such so yeah this is this is one of my one by one bulky knit hand knit throws which I'm looking forward to making another one in the new year um, so I just wanted to um, talk about my advents and my thoughts about them and I do have some different images of the entire um, advents for you to look at as I talk about them um, so uh, just my 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 final thoughts on on them the Olan advent has been just a wonderful surprise and I am again like I know I said this earlier super impressed with the amount of work that just put into that um, that advent and the color arrangement is gorgeous it was really a, a very thoughtful thoughtfully composed in terms of the colors and then also the mixing of her mill yarn with her uh, indie dyed superwash wools I really really loved it it's honestly all I've been knitting on the past couple days since my gift knitting ended and um, yeah I I really want to get it done she's we're still in the midst of the cal she's giving us I don't even know like a week or so into the new year to get it finished so I'm really looking forward to um, to doing that to, to finishing it up it yeah I can't wait to see the finished objects photos I've been looking I'll, oh I'm gonna pop a couple in here of other people's knits so Max the knitter of Le Garçon who's um, mini unbearable sweater I made for my granddaughter that you saw earlier this month um, he bought it and he's been knitting it and he's farther along than me so I have a picture from him if he has a more updated one I'll put that in too um, and then I'll add another the most updated picture I can find uh, of the shawl or blanket whatever it is. Um, it is it just looks spectacular and I'm yeah I really am highly motivated to get that finished I really want to finish my socks this week my New Year's socks which I actually have one nearly done so 
So I'm just working on the last few rows and then I'll start the second one. So hopefully that'll, that'll happen. Um, okay. Other advents, magpie fiber. Wow. It's, they called it their first annual celestial calendar. So they may do it again next year. Um, that was really fun. And that yarn, the amount of yarn I have is about two and a half skeins. It is their swanky sock base, if you know their line. So it's um, the, the MCN, so the 801010. I think that those are the percentages. I'll put them on screen if I got that wrong. They also gave Advent um, rece recipients the opportunity to buy full skeins. So we can, at the end, so now, um, from now until I think New Year's Day, we can think about and purchase um, full skeins of those. They'll be exclusive to the Advent recipients, I think, for a short period of time, and then they'll probably put the rest out. So there's two colors, the, the both the first and last color, that I really, really like that I think I'm going to go ahead and buy um, some more full skeins so that I'll have a full uh, project's quantity, sweater quantity, in each of those colors. Um, Okay, the other cashmere treats. Oh, I just love it. This is my second year doing cashmere treats. I really thought that half and half DK triangle wrap scrappy, you know, mini skein knit was going to occupy me. I did not anticipate knitting the Olan pattern at all. So um, that has sort of been, I, I didn't knit beyond day six. Um, so, but I do intend to get back into it and I, you know, I'll probably, um, I'm, I really would like to finish it by my birthday, which is in February. So, um, I'm gonna, I'll be knitting on that. That's a comfort knit. I mean, the yarn feels so good in your hands and it's just garter stitch. So it's really easy. It's a really great social knit and stuff. So I'm looking forward to finishing that up. Grinui company it was my first time ever purchasing any of her yarn I followed her for quite some time and I knew that she sort of she has like a moody um, deeper dark undertone aesthetic so I was excited to see what she did with this 12 day and it's just beautiful I love these colors um, and the other all the little extras she put in the tees and the progress keepers and yeah it was just really and Ulan too did a lot of little extras which were really sweet and thoughtful and yeah just like these big sizes of things from from Ulan. Um, Grinui yeah the, that I realized the yarn that I got from her the 12 mini skeins and the one full skein is exactly enough to make one of the hibernate knit, knit um, shawls from last year from Stephen West because that's what I did with skeins I got last year and it would be like a really different feeling because it's different colors my other one is rainbow I'll put a picture in here um, so you can see what I'm talking about um, yeah so I was like oh I could do that with this that would be cool I mean that was what was nice about Stephen West um, hybrid knit along patterns last year was that they were really the you know the perfect size to use up your mini skeins from your advents and they were fingering weight so for this year I'm pretty sure his hybrid knit alongs are DK weight uh, Sarah of Green Goat Ranch I did not show that I don't have a picture of all of them because that fiber is on my bobbins so I will you will need to tune in in the new year to see what I did with that or follow me on Instagram where I'll post pictures when I get something to post. I mean, right now there's nothing to show you, but you just see one color um, on the bobbin. I, I'm not quite done. I'm working on the sixth color. Um, I have, have like maybe three more bobbins of the sixth color, then I'll move to the seventh and eighth, and then the eighth color. Uh, and then they'll get plied. So I'll, I'm probably about two weeks away or so from finishing that, just given my the timing of everything and oh and then Akara yarns the uh, gemstone fiber advent it ended up being kind of a cute little rainbow which I'll put in here I reused um, to store her fiber I reused the boxes from cashmere treats just to keep everything contained 
So, um, yeah, those I, I was thinking I was going to make a bunch of mini skeins out of them when I'm done with the Green Goat Ranch advent. But uh, I don't know now. I may, I may hold on to them just to think about it. They're pretty interesting blends. So I could conceivably make a self-striping hand spun, which could be fun. Um, yeah, I'm going to think about it. I have time. Is that everything? Yeah, 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 that's everything. That's all of my stuff. Um, I, if I forgot anything or I see something that I need to embellish in editing, I may have one more wrap up, but I'm gonna assume that I got everything, that everything is self-explanatory or I was able to fix um, or supplement it in editing. So I'm just gonna wish you a happy holidays, happy, Merry Christmas if you celebrate Christmas and if you don't, happy holidays for you know, the holiday that you do celebrate. Happy New Year. And I will be back in January in two weeks um, with my season two of Knitter's Life. And I hope you'll join me for that. Yeah, I look forward to sharing more with you very, very soon. Have a wonderful, wonderful rest of year. And I hope you are safe and healthy. And I will see you very, very soon. Bye. Savior home.